What's going on you guys, it's Marcos. But quick question first, did you miss the Dogecoin run? And did you miss that Shiba Inu rocket to space? If so, this might be your third chance or fourth. Or well, I can say the same thing if you got on the Doge pole first and then you hopped on the Shiba rocket second and now you're riding on some fantastic gains. And here's your third or fourth opportunity, I guess, depending on how you see it. But I'll be the first one to admit that I was one of those who really missed on both. I mean, like really, that, that there was no way in the world that Dogecoin, a project that has absolutely no utility, will be able to do what it did. And then Shiba came right after, complete copycat or copy dog, was gonna do it too. And uh, well, here we are now, 90 million percent, uh, Jesus Christ, because not only has Dogecoin has gone up a whopping 48,000% uh, since last year, it, but honestly, now Shiba Inu is grabbing all the headlines, mounting up an insane 91 million percentage points year to date. I, I honestly, I just can't get over it. But anyways, enough of that. Because over the past few weeks, millions of traders, or I guess gamblers, seeking riches have been looking for the next Dogecoin and the next Shiba Inu. And well, I think I've come up to the top two competitors right now. Enter Floki Inu and Catgirl. So today we're gonna talk about exactly why these two coins have a potential to become the next 10,000 bagger and if it makes any sense for you to invest in either one of them as well as some of the worries that I have before you do. But before jumping into both, we have to start with Doge and Shiba. Now with Dogecoin, we all know that it's the OG of the meme coin. It started back in 2013 as a joke coin and it was supposed to be just that. It was supposed to be just a joke on the whole cryptocurrency world. And I know I'm gonna be skipping over a lot of things that happened throughout the years, but the most significant event was thanks to the Tesla father and the Dogecoin father himself, Elon Musk, who took it to new levels by showing his constant love for the coin, starting with this tweet in 2019. Dogecoin might be my fave cryptocurrency. It's pretty cool. And then a tech talk challenge in July of 2020 propped at 100% in just a matter of a couple of days. With tech talk influencers claiming that if everyone on tech talk invested just $25, it will turn into $10,000. And then other celebrities jumped on the bandwagon like Snoop Dogg, Mark Cuban, the Jonas Brothers, and the biggest one of all, Leo Yachty. Okay, that was a joke. And finally, Momentum took it to a high of 68 cents, culminating with the Doge father himself appearing on the set of Saturday Night Live and the Robin Hood listing. Now, thanks to the craziness that Doge was getting around August of 2020, Shiba Inu was born. An almost replica of Doge fueled by a community that did nothing else but blow it up to the top 10 in crypto market cap and for now flipping Doge at the top meme coin with a market cap of nearly $40 billion, bigger than companies such as Robinhood and Pinterest. And basically, just the same way as one joke of a coin grew over another, we arrived to June 25th of 2021 when Elon tweets, my Shiba Inu will be named Floki, and so was Floki Inu born. So for those who missed out on Shiba, there is Floki. Or at least that's what their insanely huge advertisement all over London says, which propelled it over 250% in the past few days, trading relatively sideways since June. Now, what in the world is this Floki Inu coin? Well, according to their website, it's a community-owned crypto inspired by Elon Musk and his Shiba Inu dog. Now, they also claim that they've partnered with Kimball Musk, who is Elon Musk's brother in his Million Gardens movement. It's a community of gardeners who want to inspire a happier, healthier world by educating people about a better diet through funding and educating millions of those new gardeners who want to grow their own food. Now, the team claims that they're more than just a meme coin, and this is why. They're working on three main projects, an NFT gaming metaverse called Valhalla, an NFT and merchandise marketplace known as Floki Places, and a learning platform called Floki University. Now they wanna make a platform that is useful and easy to use while creating a close-knit community of token holders. Pretty much the same call like following that other popular meme coins have. Now Floki does share two similarities with another hugely popular meme coin and that is SafeMoon. Because for hodling the coin, you're given a reward similar to SafeMoon as it has an 8% redistribution tax for all buys and sales. And just like its big brother Shiba Inu, Floki is a deflationary token. Now, one huge thing to point out is the difference between Doge and Shiba Inu is that Floki can be on both the Ethereum network and the Binance Smart Chain. So even though they have some pretty bold claims, at this point right now, the biggest thing they probably have is just the hype around the coin itself, the hype of the pet coins, 
and even the shit coins, of course. But obviously, the cryptocurrency world is going through a huge bull market run right now. And people are just wanting to make a quick life changing buck. And honestly, they're just putting an aggressive amount of money back into the marketing, which is pretty similar to what Shiba Inu did. And so far, it's worked with the coin growing over 275% this past week. And finally, if you ever asked why there are no cat themed coins, well, here we go. Because enter cat girl, which you honestly can't get away from if you open up TikTok because it's like literally everywhere. Now, cat girl coin was officially launched on May 31st of 2021, so just about a couple of months ago, as a community driven NFT coin used in the real world. Now their mission is to introduce NFTs to a wider audience, engaging users with its anime themes and orientation to the anime culture. And the developers are aiming to create a full-fledged gaming platform, claiming that the integration of anime into the world of blockchain technology, cryptocurrencies, gaming mechanics, and DeFi will open up even more opportunities in the Red Hat NFT market that's grown over 1700% in 2021 and create a new era of NFTs. Also, the developers have created their own universe uh, full of cats. Cataverse, which includes a marketplace for trading and exchanging cat girl collectible NFTs, a workshop which is a place for owners to customize cat girls, farming for staking cat girl NFTs and earn paw tokens, a social space where users can also communicate with one another. But one of the biggest features it has is the mystery box for obtaining NFT cat girls for public purchase. And now that we have that out of the way, let's talk a little bit about the tokenomic. Now, cat girl is trading at uh, whatever this number is. There are six zeros, one, six, six, nine. All right, so obviously that seems very small and we have to understand that the supply is just a lot because yeah, there is a lot of it. The total supply is 100 quadrillion coins with 50 quadrillion in circulation as the other 50 quadrillion has been burned. And I read somewhere else that actually a little bit over 65% has already been burned. So the current circulation is probably a little bit smaller now. Obviously this is a deflationary token. And so finally, is this even a good investment or should you even get involved in the first place? As always, the crypto market is highly volatile and yes, many people have made a lot of money, but the most important thing guys is not to YOLO your life savings. If anything, treat these little small coins and especially the meme coins as a casino, as buying a lottery ticket because well, honestly, you just don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, they can blow up or they might blow up to zero. <coughs> Invest the money that you can afford to lose because yeah, at the end of the day, there are chances that one or both of these projects can be the next Doge, it can be the next Shiba Inu. Hell, it might be even something bigger than that. Or at the same time, it can be the next Squid Games token or the next Save the Children rug pull. And also because regardless of their promise, the super small altcoins are banking on getting listed on a major exchange such as Coinbase, Binance, KuCoin, or Robinhood, which gives them a huge boost in visibility, legitimacy, and accessibility to the masses. But honestly, that's no promise that it'll ever happen. My concern, guys, is that a lot of people have made some really good money, especially lately, and a lot of people just have never gone through a really downturn in the market, especially in crypto. Now, I've personally been able to make some good money in crypto, and at the same time, I've lost some money too. And honestly, the cryptocurrency world has always attracted me, obviously since back in 2017, but just the same way as I made some money, I lost some money, and what just one quick little example was how back in 2017, I invested in a coin called Rayblox. That's what it was known back then. Now this is called Nano. And the only way to buy Rayblox, as far as whatever I knew back then, was through an exchange called Big Grill. And well, Big Grill was, a, was an exchange that was located in Italy and it turned out to be a scam with the founders basically running away with over $170 million. And I personally lost about 10,000 in my investment with Rayblox back then. So yeah, when you guys are investing in these things, whether you're investing in a big cap a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin or Ethereum or you know even Cardano, or if you go into the very small cap things that are in the 
you know, top 100, and then you even venture out to some sort of these meme coins or so to speak, the shit coins, basically, just be very careful. I mean, don't invest more money than what you can afford to lose. Whatever gains you make, just go ahead and take out whatever you already invested in. Just play with the house's money. At the end of the day, that's a smart way to invest and just finally, don't yolo your life savings. And that's basically it, guys. Thank you for watching the video. Let me know what you think about it. And I guess I will see you in the moon, maybe. Who knows, right?